Uh, yeah, we got uh, you know a lot of penalties in the first period, which I think killed a lot of the flow of the game. Um, you know, our penalty kill was really good in the first, and then um, I think uh, I think a lot of guys get, got taken out of the game there early, and uh, you know you got to get back in the game in the second, and we're kind of chasing it the rest of the game and, and trying to make it even. A few games now, this is on the top line with Rasmus and Terry. How would you assess that chemistry? There? Yeah, I think every game is a little bit different uh, depending on who you're playing. I know Rasmus is out for a little while, and. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get timing back, but uh, you know he's an all-around player and he's uh, he's a really good player and a really good centerman to play with. Uh, Nine-game point streak for you personally. What's clicking for you? I think just uh, I'm not really sure. Um, sometimes you get uh, be the beneficiary of some good plays, and sometimes things just click a little bit differently than other games. And um, you know, I think just uh, I think you know we want to win a little bit more and get more um, you know zone possession in their end and, and kind of build on that, but. You know, I thought it was okay, but overall, I think we got to see out of the penalty box is a big thing for us, especially tonight against a power play like that. Um, but yeah, I felt like we could have been better overall. Game time goal there in the second. Walk me through what happened there. Uh, we were running a face-off play. Um, you know, with, it worked out actually where Luco ended up getting it, had a good shot, and then uh, I guess it just bounced back behind him and got to tap it in. Uh, three straight games now with the Zidane on your wing. Talk me through what's going on with that. Yeah, it's been going good. Um, you know, he's a highly skilled, highly offensive player, and you know, I think you know we work well together. I'm more of a defensive-minded forward, and you know, it's been going pretty well overall. So, try to keep it rolling through the next few games. Uh, I thought we were inconsistent. I think we got off to a little bit of a slow start. We weren't moving our feet, which led to penalties, and that kind of screwed up the flow of the game. So, we didn't really get, weren't able to get engaged too quickly. I thought we played pretty well uh, on Friday night, and try to replicate what you, the effort that we had and, and tweak a few system things and try and be a little bit more consistent. But uh, and anytime you give, they've got a lot of skilled players on our team. Anytime you give them that many power plays, they're bound to capitalize. After a late first period goal for Toronto and then early second period goal for Toronto, your team responded with two goals of their own. Uh, what, respond, what sparked that offense there? I, I think they've got a pretty good resilience in this room, just in belief in each other. So. Uh, no, credit them for getting it to that point. I think that goal at the end of the second period was a killer. Uh, you know, going in down by a goal, I suppose, going in tied. But you know, we put ourselves in, in a position in the third period and just let it slip away. Well, Larson's fifth pro start. Uh, what do you make of his performance tonight or uh, this season? He's all right. Made some big saves when, uh, when we needed him. But uh, no, I'm not faulting him at all for the loss. Three straight games with Rasmus in between Terry and Pumple on the top line. Uh, what kind of chemistry do you see in that trio? Inconsistent. You know, we're trying to develop chemistry uh, amongst lines, but you know, we've got to make sure we're not just one line scoring. So you know, we, we've got to make sure that uh, we're spreading the wealth to a certain extent and not just stacking one line. And uh, you know, we'll look at that on a game-to-game -game basis.